Hello! This week, I am practicing. I'm practicing for uh, the Western International Band Clinic. I am the featured soloist with all of the honor bands, uh, and it's happening now uh, as this video is being released. Uh, however, now in my world is uh, a week before, um, and I am practicing for it. So uh, I, I wanted to spend a lot of time working up this stuff because some of it is kind of tricky, and um, I don't I didn't want to spend the time making a video this week um, because I need to practice. So I'm doing five pieces, but I'm going to start with uh, The Incredibles. This is uh, this was arranged for me by uh, the great Jay Bocook. Um, many of you, I'm sure, have played the band arrangement that he did. Um, it's pretty awesome. I played it when I was in middle school, I think, maybe high school. Um, in one of the honor bands. Uh, so Jay actually rearranged it uh, for solo trombone and band, and um, I'll be premiering that uh, in Seattle. So I've worked up most of it. However, there's a really tricky section right at the beginning. Uh, so I will play it with metronome slowly. Uh, and this is a good way to get the notes uh, in your hands and in your lips and um, just make sure you take it at a slow enough tempo where you are not making any mistakes whatsoever. Um, and if it's a range issue, if it's something else, an air issue, something other than the fact that you have not, you're not comfortable with it yet, the notes on the page, that is, uh, and the rhythms, um, then you have to start, you have to break it apart. You, you aren't ready to play the music yet. So uh, if you're struggling to play the notes at all out of context, then you have to take a look at what you have to do to get those fundamental basics up to standard. Now, I can play the notes uh, out of context, I can play the rhythms out of context, so now it's time to put it with a metronome slowly and make sure I can do it perfectly. That was a pretty good run of it uh, at a slow tempo to make sure all of the notes are, are pretty much there. So I'll do that a few more times. I won't make you sit through it. Um, just to make sure everything uh, is right, all the articulations are the way I want them uh, when I work it up fast, and um, I'm not missing anything stylistically. So uh, this is, at, at this point, it should be uh, a perfect representation of how you want to do it just slower. So it's not, now it's not just the notes, it's um, uh, all of the articulations, rhythms, um, uh, dynamics, and any stylistic stuff. So in this style, uh, there'll be a gliss or two, um, uh, make sure my alternate positions are right. Um, again, this is as if you just put my, my fast version, my clean, ready version on uh, slow-mo. So I will do this a few more times, make sure it's solid, make sure it's consistent, um, and then I'll speed up the metronome. Um, so I will see you when I get there. Okay, so we're ready to take it faster. Uh, you don't go straight up to uh, super, super speed, um, hyper speed, I don't know, speed, faster, fast, fast. Um, you go incrementally faster. Uh, it seems obvious, but when you actually get in the practice room by yourself, without your teacher, it's hard not to. Uh, so do it. It will be helpful and less, in the long run, less um, agonizing. <laughs> because if you take it, if you do it right slow, and then you go straight to uh, the performance ready speed, um, you're going to develop new bad habits within it, and it's much harder to break them than it is to just develop it slowly. So I'm going to go up. Uh, depending on how hard the piece is, uh, anywhere from one click at a time to maybe ten, uh, but no more than that. So uh, I'll go somewhere in between, I'll probably do four or five at a time. So right now I'm at 120. Um, so we'll go up to 124. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay? So I missed a couple notes there at the end, um, and I can feel it starting to not feel as easy as it was at the slower tempos. It, it's not so crazy where I, I can't remember the places where I've made mistakes. If, if you're making so many mistakes that you are losing track of them, slow it back down. If you can keep track of them, I, I know I missed two notes, I know I kind of missed an articulation and a gliss I wanted to sound nicer. So um, I can keep it at this tempo and focus on those things. If new problems arise, focus on those until I've cleaned it up. Uh, but again, if it's too many to, to keep your uh, mind on, uh, just slow it down until it's manageable. And that's basically the cleaning process uh, of getting it up to tempo. So I will turn the camera off again, I will work it up at this tempo, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so now we're up to 134. Same thing. Uh, make sure I can get it at this speed um, without it feeling really rushed or uh, anything other than comfortable. That's, that's really what it is. Um, and at this point I feel my lips starting to um, feel not great about the range, but uh, that's when you take a little break. Um, so this is something that I learned in college. It's much better to practice like four times a day for 10 minutes rather than once a day for an hour and a half. Uh, you're going to get a lot more done as long as you can get into the mindset and out um, without a problem. So if it takes you a few minutes to get into it, keep that in mind, but um, you're going to get a lot more done if by the end of your session you're not um, struggling to even play a note. Um, and you do that by taking breaks. So uh, it takes a lot more of your day to do that, but um, that's what I do for a living. So it's okay. Um, so again, I'm going to work this up. I still feel okay, so we're going to keep going. Okay, now we're at 146. Try 154. Okay. So this one, I, I had four major mistakes that I can think of. Now, at this point, again, I can slow it back down. However, uh, I just played it at a slower tempo and it was fine. Uh, so another thing you can do is break it up into smaller sections. It's really the only two things you can do. You can either play it slower or you can break it up into smaller sections. Uh, or both, if you need to. So uh, I might break it up into smaller sections at this tempo uh, for a couple different phrases. Uh, I might also take a break, and that could help too. Um, so, I'm going to try that, and then uh, if that goes well, put the pieces together and bring the tempo up. Okay, so that seems to be going well, uh, so I'm going to bring the tempo up to 162 and see how that goes. I don't really know what the uh, uh, tempo we're going to take this at is, uh, since I'm playing it with a band, so uh, I'm going to over-prepare and do it uh, as fast as I think they could do it. If uh, everybody gets excited or whatever happens, uh, I want to be prepared for that. So we're going to try it at 162. Okay. 
well. And what happens if it goes well on the first try? Do you take up the tempo all of a sudden? No. You have to do it again uh, to make sure that it wasn't a fluke. Because just like if you play it wrong four times and then do it right once, you've practiced it wrong four times and right once. Uh, so you have to counteract that with doing it right three other times. So make sure this wasn't a fluke, do it again at that tempo, and then you can move it up. Now I'm going to move it up again, uh, like I said, just to over prepare 168. Same thing, do it again like that. And now we're going to try it 172. Same thing, uh, and then I'm going to move it up one last time. Okay, uh, so I've turned up the metronome quite a bit, and I also uh, took off the eighth notes, uh, as well as two and four, matter of fact, uh, to start me feeling in half time. Uh, at really fast tempos, you want to um, do all the subdivision in, in your heart <laughs> uh, and in your soul, because uh, otherwise you will drag. Dum dum ba da ba 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 dum. Da 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 Okay. So don't focus too much on it at this tempo. Just stay locked into one and three. Okay, so that was not perfect, uh, however, I'm fairly certain we're not going to take it at that tempo. And if we do, that's as bad as it's going to be. I'm okay with that. Uh, so that's as far as I'm going to go, 182. Uh, that's, I think, ridiculous um, for this opening section. So uh, that is basically how I'm going to practice this piece. Um, the other pieces, it might be a little different, but this is pretty much how I practice everything. So. Uh, if you're wondering, this is it.